Hey there folks, welcome to this video, and here I'm going to be talking about the breaking news from WRC, which is that Oi Tanak and Martin Yafaya are leaving Toyota. They are going to be joining Hyundai for 2020 and the 2021 season. Similar kind of contract to what Thierry Neville currently has. Now what this means is that Hyundai have essentially finalised their lineup for, I believe, all but one round. Because I believe that Danny Sordo is on a seven round contract and Sebastian Loeb is on a six round contract for the 2020 season. In a press release, which I'll link down below, Andrea Odamo said that they are looking at exploring options with Andreas Mikkelsen and Craig Breen for roles for the team for next season. But what does it mean to the driver market? Because I released a video, uh, not even two weeks ago now, talking about the driver market, with the rumour of Tanak to Hyundai. And now since it has come true, we have to kind of reflect on that and think about what's going to happen next. Now firstly, there was a rumour going around that Sebastian Auger is going to be going out of his Citroen contract. Because of course there was an opt-out clause just in case he wanted to retire at the end of the season. Rumour is he's going to be leaving Citroen and going to Toyota to replace Tanak. Which means that there will be a space at Citroen. Maybe two if PSA want to up their involvement. Now, what do I think Citroen are going to do? Well, I think that Lappi will be there to the end of 2020. But I reckon Citroen will take the year out in 2021. Because if they're going to commit to the 2022 regulations, they'll probably do what they did in seasons like in 2006 when Kronos were the work Citroen team, and in 2016 when it was actually PH Sport. They might run C3s, probably through PH Sport again because they currently have one, or they might give a C3 to someone like Santalok. Sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, by the way. And those will be entering like Citroen work drivers and so on whilst they develop a 2022 car, if they're going to do a 2022 car. And given that they're currently talking about a merger with um, Peter Chrysler, it probably makes sense if at least one part of that merger would be in the WRC. I, I think that's going to be pretty much the point. Um, in the Citroen seat, I reckon we could see either one of the two Hyundai drivers, if not both on a round share basis. Both of them still seem to have good relationships with Citroen, who gave them drives in 2017 and 2018, as well as a bit further back for Craig Breen. What I would be surprised about is if neither of them got the drive and they decided to give a full-time drive to someone like Eric Kamerley. I could see them doing a split campaign with Kamerley and Osberg as well, or Osberg just taking over from Ogier. In that case, it would make sense for um, Citroen to still bring Osberg to Australia. Rumour was that he was going to be withdrawn if Ogier was not in the title fight, so he's up to racing speed for the start of the 2020 season. But honestly, I don't know who would be at the Citroen. I reckon it's going to be one, if not two, of four, and those four will be um, Ickerson, Breen, Osberg, and Kamerley. That means with Ogier to Toyota, you'll have Ogier, you'll have Rothenpera, and arguably Ogier could do for Rothenpera what Julian Porter's as he did for Italic in 2017 and be an inspirational kind of role model for him getting used to the WRC which would mean that um, if uh, Rothenpera em emulates the kind of thing that Tanak has done it will be a massive unstoppable force when Rothenpera will take over as the lead driver which will be arguably the case in 2021 and then rumour is Mackinnon's looking at doing part-time driver contracts which could see him keep both Yari Matty Lafler and Chris Meek in the team. Now, rumour was, uh, well actually no, it wasn't rumour, it was Tommy McLean that said that Chris Meek was in a more favourable position. However, that was before Rally Catalonia where Chris Meek had a crash. So, we don't know. You'll notice I haven't talked about S4 yet. I'm probably going to do a proper WRC video um, next week, talking about all the other kinds of rumours because Rally Australia is still a couple of weeks away. But, with this breaking news, I want to kind of talk about Hyundai and I want to talk about Ogier and Citroen. Just because these were things I didn't talk about in the old video which is now getting a massive spike in views. Thank you so much for supporting that one. Thank you so much for supporting your Italic one as well. It just passed 2,000 views today. It means a lot to me. My first video on YouTube to do that and it's now my most new video and I am so delighted. I honestly am. So thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy this, make sure to like, make sure to comment if you want to get involved in the debate, make sure to subscribe, stay in the loop, turn on the bell notification so you get informed of when I'm uploading any video and doing any stream. Because I know it sounds cheesy, but it actually does mean the world to me. 
Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.